It says, simple truths will help you the most right now. Complexity is the mind at work, whereas the heart sees with astoundingly accurate simplicity. Don't worry about the details, the hows, wheres, and whys. Those answers will come in time. For now, all you need to do is get back to the basics of what is true. And for you, that means stepping into the light. Well, that's powerful. This comes off as inner truths about a situation that have been tough. They've been tough to acknowledge. Things, things you don't want to. Things that are hard. What else goes with that spread, baby? But I'm also getting a career element to this. That you're supposed to be seen and heard. And you haven't been. It's time for that to change as well. Time for healing. All right. Okay. Let's see what's happening. Because it feels like this healing is going to come as a result of being your authentic self and showing that to the world. There's that element to it as well. What is going on for Libra for the second week of February 2021? Even seeing someone singing on stage. Okay, we have, ooh, king of wands, okay, the hermit, those are two opposing energies, the sun, death, three of pentacles, three of cups, eight of cups, ooh, okay. This hurts to read. So if this is your reading, that means you feel at least the way I do right now. And if, if that's the case, I'm sorry. So this feels like uh, I'm going to read this side as you, this side as your person. And up here is the situation. It's eight of pentacles on the bottom too. With the Six of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay, so I have a feeling this is going to come across in the reverse. So, but I'm going to read it as it. I'm going to read it as it lies. Okay. This feels like a situation where that started at work. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. There's a situation that started at work where it made one or both of you very happy. Very happy. But I feel like this is you, Libra. I'm going to read it that way. Let's flip it, okay? Um, because I feel like this is the direct connection to the bright baby and that, that's you. Okay. So it feels like that you met someone at work. And someone that made you very, very happy, that you worked very well together with, that there was a natural click and movement to things. And this person already had a person. And it looks like there's a bit of the both of you walking away from each other. Could have been a Scorpio, could have been a Virgo, strong with both those energies right now. But there's a motivation here. 
if that's the one thing the king of wands is, is motivated to take action, to move, to strike, to come forward. And it looks, okay. You were in a role that didn't fully suit all the talents that you have. You were being, it's kind of like being forced into a smaller box when you need a bigger one. <laughs> um, in order to, for, you know, HR to justify paying you less, they need to fit you into a smaller box kind of thing. You have incredible talents that need to be seen. And with the this exit that you did from this situation, it's propelling you in that direction. It's, 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 it's a time for healing, but there's also a time for perspective here too. Because... This person could have been higher on the food chain at work, like a supervisor, a boss, someone who is already in the spotlight in some sort of variation or the could be a celebrity or a sports star or something. And you weren't, but you have the talent to be. There's something that is in you that is so bright and lovely, bright baby son. I mean, come on. That you can now move forward. It looks like you're going to be doing that and simultaneously doing the healing work. And with your departure from this connection, it's throwing this person into their own self-reflection. I'm kidding. This person has a lot of Scorpio and Virgo. These are the three energies in, in this person's chart. Scorpio, Virgo, um, fire. I'm getting mostly Sag off of that King of Wands. Okay, it's throwing this person into their own soul evolution process because there's the realization of what this connection was. And I'm really curious to see, to expand on this King of Wands. So let's do that first. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. There's more movement. Let's see, what else do we have here? The star. The empress. Ace of pentacles. Seven of swords. Temperance. Okay, so this person. Justice. Eight of swords, nine of swords. Knight of pentacles, lovers. Okay, so... Just so you know, although this person had a person, they had strong feelings for you, but just didn't want to go through the mess of leaving their previous thing. That's why they dragged their feet on it. This could have been something that you never even talked about, but they did think about it. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, Star, Empress. Boom. Those are some heavy hitters and ending with the temperance over here. This presenting the Empress with the Ace of Pentacles, this person could try to sneak back in some way. You're in your DMs, email, text, whatever. Wherever you haven't blocked them. <laughs> um, trying to move this forward because this and I know I'm going to get it with this hermit right now. This this person has realized and is understanding this connection better because you don't know what you what you had until it's gone. That that very much applies to this person. Okay. Uh, yep. Their ego got in the way. They know their ego got in the way. Ego and I'm hearing unnecessary arguments. Please clarify the death card. Ten of Cups. World. Eight of Wands. Ace of Wands. Holy crap. <laughs> they want to come in and tell you that this other relationship is over. And they want to start something new with you. Yeah. 
arrows of love. Passionate new beginning. And this three of cups, please. Ten of pentacles. Yeah, they were held on to this previous situation because it was comfortable. They, they, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, they did not want to let this go. It could have been a marriage for for some people. It's going to be for some. It's 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 at least like a live in situation. The truth is, they did want to move toward you, and they were scared to leave their current situation. When you integrate lives, right, by moving in and setting up house and or getting married, kind of thing. That's there's you now have joint assets. So yeah, being scared to split up. Yep, I understand. It's a real fair, and fair is a great motivator for some people. Let's clarify the sun for you. Five of Wands, Five of Wands, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You knew what this connection was from the beginning. From the very beginning. You may research, started like finding out information about Twin Flames early on in this connection because of how this felt so different from the ones before. Three of Pentacles, please. Yep, you had to walk away. Five pentacles. You leveled up. Lost some sleep, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. So now we have Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Empress is here twice. Three, four, five of pentacles. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> So this lesson for you was about, it didn't matter how amazing or rare or incredible this connection was. You had to learn the lesson to walk away if you weren't being given what you needed. And you had some sleepless nights after this of, did, did I do the right thing? Was, was, was leaving, was leaving the right thing? Yes. Yes. You became confident in your choice after leaving because of the clarity it brought you after energetically separating from this person. Okay. Eight of Cups. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Magician. Knight of Swords. Whoo. Full. This is awesome. Yes. Three of Cups. Knight of Cups. Emperor. King of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Hierophant. I don't like the Eight of Swords in the middle of that. So this person, this person, big time on the boss energy here with the King of Pentacles and Emperor together. This person has commitment issues. Okay, got three of cups, three of cups, three of wands, ten of wands. This, this, mm -hmm. They know they need to apologize to you. And they know you want bigger commitment than they are used to giving others, those before you. And here you weren't getting what you needed, so you bolted. The one thing that's really beautiful here that I'm so proud of you. And this is, this is walking that twin flame vibe. So what's happening here, and you really need to sit with this, okay? You, you leaving, you're manifesting at a faster rate now because you have, you have dropped this connection, the energetic connection. It has made you bolder. 
It has made you more successful. It is bringing in more opportunities that are near and dear to your heart. And as you're doing this and keeping your head down and working on the things that make you happy, you don't see this coming up behind you. <laughs> this Knight of Cups bringing in new love. So here's the lesson. It doesn't matter if this is your twin, soulmate, whatever label that you want to put on it. We all have to learn our lessons if we are not being given what we need in order to be happy with someone, happy in relationship with someone. You're supposed to be happy on your own no matter what. But getting into relationship with someone, there's, there's needs that need to be met. That's fair. And those weren't get being met because it looks like they already had somebody. And it didn't matter how incredible this connection was. You had to gather the strength to leave it behind in order to protect yourself. And that's what you should be doing first, always. And you're, you, you learn that. You learn that. Okay. So... Who is bringing in this new love here with this Knight of Cups? Is it the same person? It is water energy. It is water energy. So we're still walking that Scorpio line a little bit. But let's see. Because it could be a fire sign. Oof. You might not take it. <laughs> Tower. More Scorpio energy. Ace of Swords, the truth, the devil, the page of swords. They've been spying on you. They have been spying on you. There's love here already. Okay. They're, they they've they've got yeah. There's they're a little obsessed. <laughs> a little obsessed with you. Definitely spying on you. And the more successful that you get. This, this success, the more jealous they get. Ooh. There's the hermit again. What else have they realized? That you make them happy. And they're really attracted to you. Like, soup, king of wands twice now. They're really attracted to you. 